Hello everybody. In this video I will show you several different circular magnet arrays and I will explain to you how to arrange the magnets to get what effect or what field. So first let me start off by showing you all the arrays under the magnetic viewing film. So with the first one here the field is focused to the outside then with the next one it's focused to the inside and here the field is focused to just one side stronger than on the other and here it is all focused to the center and just a ring pattern and here we have a north-south pole alternating um, arrangement this is what this looks like then down here we have a, a square shaped uh, Halberg array that's focusing the center uh, the field to the center and here we have uh, also a Halberg array with 12 magnets that equals 6 poles and yeah also focuses the field on one side stronger than on the other so now that you have seen what they look like under the magnetic viewing film I will start explaining to you how to arrange which array to get yeah, what field types so first off let me start with this array this is, uh, I'll show it to you again uh, it shapes the field so that it focuses to the outside as you can see you get a big field on the outside and this is it viewed from the side nice symmetrical field from each side so the way you arrange this is I take this stack of magnets to explain this to you two are covered in black tape so you will see it better let me start with this magnet here so we place it here and then we arrange them in a clockwise direction meaning we arrange this magnet this and so on so in a clockwise direction but the magnets themselves we rotate in a counterclockwise so we place this one then we place this one then this one then this one so you see I move along in a clockwise direction but the magnets themselves are always rotated at 90 degrees um, in a counterclockwise direction and that equals a field that is focused to the outside so that brings us to the next array this is this one um, that is focusing the field to the inside I'll show you this under the viewing film it looks like this and from the side it also looks symmetrical but as you can see it has a very shallow field and it's more focused everything to the inside and to get an array like this I start also at this one and we'll go in a clock clockwise direction so the difference is that I also move my magnets in a clockwise direction so when I go in a clockwise direction like this as you can see so yeah basically the inward to the first array and now we come to the third array that I have here this would be this one and viewed under the viewing film it looks like this from one side but if I flip it like this it looks like this and viewed from the side you will see that it is much stronger on one side than on the other side so this focuses the field stronger on one side than on the other and for this um, we also start with this magnet here so I have it laying right here and then I've marked the next with an X and the other with a point and this would mean that it is now north or south pole viewed from the top so with this you start arranging it like this then rotate it 90 degrees but in this direction then you come over like this then you rotate it like this 
you get what I mean. So instead of aligning them like this and rotating the magnets, you start one with like this, then you go like this. You see what I mean? You rotate it 90 degrees in that direction with this arrangement. So, yeah. Let's go over to the next array. This would be this array that has all poles facing in the same direction. And this equals a field that you can see here. This is the same or kind of the same field that you get with a radially magnetized um, ring magnet. So we have um, south pole on the inside here and north pole on the outside. This is it viewed from the side. So, yeah. Also an interesting array. And yeah, logically you can arrange that like this. You take the same pole and just go in a circular pattern and make sure all poles are facing the same direction. So it's an easy array. And the next array that I will show you is this one. And this has north and south pole always in an alternating direction. So this one looks like this under the field viewer. I didn't have any smaller arrays like this left over, so I made a bigger one, but field looks the same. So, yeah, to make this one, of course, take the magnet like this. And then for the next one, just flip it. And for the next one, you flip it again, and so on, until you finish the pattern. And the next array that I show you is an interesting one. This is a, yeah, a square-shaped um, Halberg array. And the magnets are arranged as you see them here. And yeah, this equals a field that you can see here. Very interesting one. I will view it from the side like this. view the different sides but from this side or if I flip it this side they look the same so this is basically an array that focuses the field strong to the inside and to make this array you start off for example here and yeah you go in a clockwise direction of arranging them again, then you just turn the magnets also in a clockwise direction, like this, when you arrange them. So you go clockwise and also turn the magnets clockwise always 90 degrees for the next position. And if you repeat that pattern, you get a, this um, square array. So for the last array that I will show you, here I have a, also a Halberg array, circular one, but I want to show you this. It's basically the same as this arrangement, but with 12 magnets instead of, instead of 8. And I show you this because um, yeah, you can basically extend the poles of your circular Halberg array or the size of it um, yeah, as large as you want. Just make sure the number of magnets that you use is that has to be dividable by four. And the reason should be quite easy to see because you see it's always um, yeah four times different position and then it repeats itself. So make sure you use eight. 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on as the number count for your magnet array if you plan on doing a Halberg array configuration. With an array like this, you can use any number of magnets, of course. So, 
yeah this is basically it for this video uh, I hope I explained everything well so you can now build your own arrays I will also link a file um, to 3d print this array holders this plastic holders so you can make your own arrays and do testings with different arrays like this and you will be surprised that you get very different fields and effects from these fields so thanks for watching and goodbye